been almost a month since protesters first took over the streets of Orlando, demanding justice for George Floyd and demanding change through the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, there will be a permanent reminder of the mark they left on the city. News Six's Lewis Bolden is in downtown Orlando, where a huge mural is now underway. Lewis. That's right, Ginger, and it is almost finished. You know, the Black Lives Matter movement started several years ago, but certainly regained momentum after George Floyd was killed. This is the city of Orlando saying, way of saying we support the movement. As city and county leaders put on the first strokes of a Black Lives Matter mural downtown Orlando, Mayor Buddy Dyer said artwork is a gesture but it's an important one. Our hope is that this mural will keep the movement front and center in our community, helping us to have further dialogue about real change. The 400-foot mural is on Roslyn Avenue between Washington and Robinson, right in front of the Lake Eola band shell. Bishop Kelvin Cobaris with Impact Church led the crowd in prayer. We understand the reason why we state that black life matters because many black lives have been slaughtered in the streets. Each of the 16 letters will be 30 feet high. Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings. The movement for criminal justice or police reform cannot start here and it will not start, it will not end here. Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. Their goal is to bridge the gap between law enforcement officers and the black community. The letters are being painted in red, black, and green, colors from the Pan-African flag. These young girls from Rock Lake Neighborhood Center helped paint it. And how does it make you feel to be a part of it? It, 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 it makes me happy. The mural is a symbol of hope for a better tomorrow. That father truly will be able one day to say that we're free at last, free at last, and thank God Almighty, we're free at last. Now, the Lake Eola band shell is painted in the rainbow flag colors on the back, and right across from that is the Black Lives Matter mural. As a gay black man, both make me extremely proud of this city. Reporting live downtown Orlando, I'm Lewis Bolden, getting results, News 6. Lewis, thank you. Makes us all very proud, mm. Lewis. The